Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Node.js tutorial for beginners. And in this video, we will talk about templating engines. So, so far, what we have learned is how we can uh, pass these kind of parameters to the client using Express.js. So, before starting templating engines, I wanted to show you how we can, uh, you know, transfer or show the HTML file on the browser using Express.js. Uh, so let's get started with that and then we will start with the templating engines. So I have these two files about.html and HTML or index.html, right? So these two HTML files I have. So what I'm going to do is in the root route, what I want to do is I want to send the index.html file, right? So the way you do it is you take this reply uh, argument and then call a method called send file. Okay, so just call a method called send file and then the name of the file which you want to send. So because we are in the current directory, so I'm going to take the dir name plus the file name. So the file name I want to send is index dot html right in the same way you can uh, just send the contact dot html or about dot html which we have here right so here i want to send about dot html and i'm going to save my code and my node mon is already running so i don't need to rerun it once again and I'm going to open my browser and I'm going to refresh this. And it says uh, this doesn't exist. Yeah, I forgot to give the forward slash here. So I just need to give forward slash. And once again, I will save and I will refresh the page once again. And now it says home page. And let's uh, call the about page also. So just write about. And it says about page. So this is how you can send any file to the browser using the send file method, right? Now, this is how you can send the static files. But for example, you want to send some parameters with the HTML file or you want to inject some uh, parameter in your HTML file, then what will you do? So for that, we use the templating engines. And there are many engines which you can use with Express uh, JS. For example, Jade or Jazz or uh, some other engines like uh, Underscore or Toffee. But what we are going to use is the templating engine called EJS or Embedded JS. So let's get started with EJS. So what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to open the website on which uh, we can find more documentation on EJS or Embedded JS. So just open this website, which is called embeddedjs.com, whose short form is uh, EJS, right? And when you will scroll down, you will see how you can use this EJS with your HTML and uh, how you can embed the parameters in your HTML uh, text or file right so for that first of all we need to add a package ejs in our project so ejs is a node package so i'm going to first of all install ejx package using npm so let me clear the terminal and i will just write npm install and i will just give the flag uh, save also so it will be added to our uh, package.json file also and then just write ejs okay and then press enter which is going to add this package to our project and once it's done you will be able to see uh, this ejs is added to your package.json and you will also see ejs is uh, added to your node modules also right so i'm going to just close this and close the html files and now the way you, uh, you know, add this EJS or to use this EJS, uh, we need 
to add the view engine property or you need to set the view engine property to your express app so you take this app variable and then call a method called set and then we will set a property which is called view engine so just give single quote and just write view engine and the next property is the name of the engine so in this case we are using ejs right so the property name is view engine and the value is ejs okay now we can use ejs in our project now by default uh, when express uh, sees that the engine view engine is ejs it looks in the directory called view okay by default it's going to look in a directory called view for the ejs files so we are going to make a directory called view so just create a directory and name it as view and inside this directory all our uh, you know ejs files will go right so what we want is for example in the last video we have uh, created this route for students and whenever some id is uh, you know passed for the student then his name is returned to the for example client or to the browser right so we are going to take the same route but this time what we are going to do is we are going to uh, you know transfer this data to the uh, html file and inject in this parameter to the html file and then present it to the client for example okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just create a new file inside my view folder so this is my view folder and I'm going to uh, create a student file because uh, this is a student's route. So I'm going to create a students.ejs file. Okay. So it's not going to be a HTML file, but it's going to be a EJS file. Right. But the content which you will give inside this EJS file will be the same as uh, your normal HTML file have. So for example, I'm going to just copy this code from my index.html which doesn't have much it just have the body of html page and the main uh, h1 tag right so i'm just going to copy and then in the student.ejs file i'm going to just paste this code right now the way ejs work is uh, we need to go to index.js and instead of uh, using this kind of code uh, reply or rep.send instead of this what we are going to do is we are going to just write rep.render okay so here we are going to use rep.render and then it takes two parameters so the first parameter here will be the name of your uh, view file so in this case our view file name is students right you can see here students.ejs so we can just uh, pass the view file name which is student and the extension you don't need to give it here okay just the name of the file and the second parameter it takes is the object now this object is a key value pair so the first uh, is the key for example we want to send the student name so i'm going to just name uh, the key as name itself because it's, it's a student name right and the value for it is the value which we have here so in the last video we had this kind of uh, you know small object and uh, this has the key value pair so for example we requested student one then it's going to give us the uh, result by returning its name student's name right so this is how you can get the student name by id so i'm going to pass it here okay and then we don't need this thing here because we are already sending our uh, you know parameter using this render method and to the student 
file. Now the way you uh, add this name parameter to your EJS file is, so I'm going to go to uh, h1 tag here and if you have seen inside in the embedded js.com you do it something like this so you take this uh, angle bracket start your angle bracket then this mod sign then equals and then the parameter name and then end with mod and then closing angle bracket so i can just copy this uh, from here and i will do the same here so in your h1 tag or any tag for example it's a paragraph tag or it, it's uh, any other h2 tag or other tags you can do the same so just use a tag and inside your tag just start angle bracket mod equals and then the parameter name so our parameter name is name itself right so we want to parse in our ejs file this parameter name right so that's why I have written name here. Okay. And then I'm going to just save everything and uh, I'm going to rerun my uh, app. So I'm going to just use nodemon.index.js and then I'm going to go to my browser and in here I'm going to ask for the students uh, file because here we have the students.ejs right and we will give the student route here and then the id of the student so id of the student for example i want to give one here right and then press enter and it gives me some errors which i'm going to see what the error is so the error which i can see here is it says fail to look up view students in views directory and i name my directory as view not views so this is the error you will see if you uh, do anything wrong and by the message it looks like my directory name view is wrong we need to name it as views okay so my directory name views must be i'm going to rename it as views instead of view okay and then i'm going to uh, refresh my page once again and hopefully this time i can see this message mark because uh, student id1 is for mark right so we can just add it our um, student.ejs file for example uh, you have requested the student name name and then you give the student name and for uh, for example i want to add the id also i want to show the id on my uh, student uh, html file also so i will just add the parameter tag here and i will say id and then the colon and then i will use the same method like this here and here i will uh, just rename it as id and i need to pass this uh, id parameter from here right so let's uh, go to the index.js file and then here in the second element in the json you can just add id and then just pass uh, this id there so the id will be request.params.id right so just give colon here and then pass your id here okay so first uh, element of the json or object is name and second element of the JSON object is ID, right? In the same way, you can add multiple object in your uh, second parameters, right? So just save your code and then uh, rerun it once again. So I'm going to just ask uh, for the student one once again. And now it says you have requested the student name Mark and the ID is one. For example, I will just add two here and press enter. This time I have Tom and then the ID is two. And once again, for example, for three, then the John name and the ID is three here. Okay. So this is just the starting for the templating engine. In the future videos, we will see some more concepts on EJS. So stay tuned and please welcome and subscribe and bye for now.